Hello, my name is Michael Avery from Cadence Design Systems. I'm going to talk here about constant positivity and how it relates to IC verification using system Verilog assertions and formal tools. So contraposition is a mathematical construct or logical construct and what it states is this, any property with implication, i.e. a statement that's conditional, has a logically equivalent contrapositive. So here we can see a simple assertion A implies B. The contrapositive of that is not B implies not A. So if you look at this truth table here, you'll see that both pass and fail under the, exactly the same circumstances. Therefore, they are logically equivalent. And in order to form this contrapositive, all we've done is swap A and B, you know, swap, swap left for right on the implication operator and invert both sides. So if we were talking about this in an SVA property, so if you were using this in formal, for example, it might be worth writing, if these are Booleans, A and B, it might be worth, because these kinds of problems are NP-complete problems, you don't really know how long it's going to take to find a solution. So it could be that the engines are managed to find one answer quicker than the other, and it may be a significant difference in that. So it may be worth trying both of these with Boolean properties. If, however, you've got sequences, what happens then? If, if the left or right is a sequence, does that still hold? So what I've got defined here is name sequences, B, C, and D, E. And we write an assertion that says that BC sequence implies that next cycle I get a DE sequence. So if I try and do that trick for creating contraposition here, what I'd need to do is swap each side of the operator and invert them both. Okay, so there is an operator NOT, which is a negation operator. Now the problem with this is NOT DE will return a property expression, and property expressions are not allowed on the left-hand side of a implication operator. It has to be a, a sequence or a boolean. So that will not succeed, that will, that will not get us. And maybe we think of another SVA operator called the implies operator, will that work? Well, no, not really, because implies each property operand has to start at the same time. So it's not doing the same thing. We could use a property expression both sides of the implication operator, i.e., you know, instead of BC being a sequence, it's a property instead, and likewise for DE. However, we're getting a long way now from something that's easy to understand and maintain and being of pragmatic use. You know, we're just trying to use contrapositivity for the, for the sake of it now. Okay, so how is it useful then? Well, it's useful in covers, in, in formal. So if we have an assert like that, the contrapositive cover of this assertion, P2, is a finite trace where prop 1 is never true. And if we have a liveness property, so if we say, if I have sequence 1, then eventually I reserve B, the contrapositive cover of that is a infinite trace where B is never true. Okay, and why is that useful? Because it might indicate problems with our environment in terms of over constraining which may be deliberate or may not be deliberate and more generally there's some setup problems for example we might have initialized the design incorrectly in formal we can create contrapositive covers in jasper using an elaborate switch we don't have to work out what they are for ourselves so we use this create related covers switch to the elaborate command and put the value contrapositive there and that will generate those covers for us automatically okay so that's it with contrapositivity as it relates to SVA. Uh, thanks for listening and goodbye.